My name is Rhapsody and welcome back to the Renowned Explorers Mortal Explore DLC. Let's go into a new game. So, last time we had Kwame leading a friendly status crew, if I recall correctly. Now, we were asked to do some more friendly runs, specifically by Cub298 in the comment section down below. And that is 100% correct. I've been doing mainly agree uh, aggressive and devious, although I have been randoming the captains. It has turned out that way. And I'm definitely less comfortable doing friendly runs, which means I should do more of them so that I can be more comfortable with it. Uh, that said, I'm more comfortable doing status runs. So, of course, the last run turned into a status run. Also, because it synergizes with Kwame's campfire story. So, why don't I go with a character that we had in the last run, Amelia, who has a campfire story that wants me to go sty uh, science or study. I was trying to say science as a weird amalgamation of science and study. Some sort of a zombie portmanteau. Anyway, resourceful botanist, start every expedition with a tool. That's really, really good. Uh, plus one study whenever you enter an area with a nature challenge. We can actually stack that up to plus four study whenever we enter an area with a nature challenge. And that's really easy. Just get the first level of natural sciences and also the discovery boosting perks in the first tree. Easy. Absolutely easy. Um... We can also upgrade our discovery token after visiting enough nature challenges, so we're incentivized to visit every single nature challenge. Obviously, that means we're going to want to take Padrino. Uh, Padrino pairs well with Amelia, you can even see, it's the recommended crew. But Padrino is a survivalist, so we're going to be able to actually capitalize on all of the things we would be able to find in nature areas. And then the final person, we take Maria. I realize this is the base crew. Let me, uh, let me, under let me explain uh, what I want to do here. So Amelia has to be my leader, that's the run I want to do, right? Padrino is one of two friendly sci uh, scouts. So it's you or Kiwi, and Kiwi isn't actually friendly. She can only try to excite, not actually excite, and has Loudmouth, which is an AoE devious, and then an aggressive flank and shank. She's not actually friendly, even though it says it. She's devious aggressive. Then very few fighters actually have anything friendly they can really do for your team. And even when they do have something friendly, it's paired with aggression, which I'm not going to want to do, because if I'm going strong science, I'm going to want to go down the anthropology build and just stack bonuses on doing friend uh, friendly results. Uh, and then we've got Maria, Hildegard, Kwame, and Yvonne as all of the friendly in this tree. Yvonne's special abilities are all devious. Hildegard is... Right, right, right. She overlaps with naturalists, so I actually get less diversity in my build. As It's also worth noting that we need a Beguiler if we want to go to a bunch of the friendly locations, because a bunch of the friendly locations heavily benefit from having a Beguiler on the team, which we lost when we had Kwame on our team. We do also need to get some Diplomat in this build somewhere, but we can probably just give Maria the Diplomat Languages book. So that's the reason for the choices. We will be going to the Celtic Code so that we can get some more science out of our build. Possibly the student as well on the first island. And I don't know, maybe if we could get the Will of Wisp or the Horns of Serenos, either of those would be really amazing. Uh, but falling short of any of those, we'll still be able to get some decent science going on. I'm excited. I am very excited. So this build would typically go the Celtic Code, so the first island that I'm on currently, Celtic Code into Mali, which means I'm going to need to pick up Rogue or Engineer really quickly, and then for the third island, I'd probably, I'd probably double back and actually go to the Caribbean, because it does give you research, even if it resolves aggressive, so since it resolves easier aggressively, we can go back to it and not resolve it aggressively as long as we do it later. Okay, unexplored. Celtic Holy Grounds. This is... See, this is where I think you're supposed to get the Horns of Serenos. Something odd happens. Alright, I'll do 91 on Amelia here. Okay, that's good. I had to use the tools, unfortunately, but we did manage to get it done. Uh, she suddenly has an idea on how the Celtic Pantheon was constructed with this newfound insight. She's also gained a big interest in legends. Okay, so it's actually just a archaeologist legends. At the very least, that stacks, because we had prehistory only. Uh, cool, cool, cool. We'll cut across, get our... Oh, I thought that was going to be the Hidden Horde. Whoops. Cut across, go down, 
get our supplies, so we actually get back up to the maximum of seven. So that's why we wanted to loop around before going to the supplies, so that we actually exhausted our supplies so we could get back to the maximum, rather than going over our maximum and not getting any benefit as a result. Uh, okay, we can actually resolve this deviously. We're not tied into resolving in any way yet, although we will be in the future. So let's just benefit while we can from resolving devious or even aggressive if we need to. I'm not even going to get close enough, bugger. That's what I was worried about. All it takes is one fumble here and I wasn't going to be able to get the kill. Thankfully, it's really not that impactful. Got him. Okay, we have broken our opponent's mind. Amelia is going to get Naturalist Classical Physics because I don't need the third level of Archaeology quite yet. And also, I want her to have as much Naturalist as possible so that this campfire story is particularly good. So we'll keep this one and I guess use Campaign because the rest of those are absolute trash. So the Campaign at the very least is going to help me get my early Entourage and early Scientists. Eh, it's not that bad, really. I mean, obviously, it'd be a lot better if I got, uh, if I got Amelia's actual story, so that I could visit both of these nature check marks and actually get some bonuses out of them. But sure, if we can't get that, that's okay. Okay, mushrooms, all fine. Ooh, zero link up here. That's actually going to be pretty beneficial to us. Some cuddly sheep are trying to surround us. Oh no, we'll be okay. Something tells me we'll be okay. Okay, uh, we aren't actually going to be able to finish them all off. Only because we have no AoE yet. As soon as we get Padrino's party time though, we would have been able to do that in like one turn. Would have been amazing! Party time is so powerful. Alright. This is going to be party time unlocked. You stack Beguila because we already have Archaeologist Legends on Amelia. And you stack Survivalist because we already have Beguila Beautiful Smile. No, we don't. But we do have Beguila already on Maria. Zero link over here. Don't mind if I do. Uh, Alright, investigate the phenomenon for 79%. Beautiful. Okay. That will help us make discoveries, apparently. No, that's actually not... That's just flavor text. Okay, cool. Lose attack power. Suddenly, you know what? I'm okay with losing attack power. Let's investigate the zone for a 91% chance. The stone is special. Lose attack power on Padrini. We're actually losing the best things we could be losing. Save the plant for research. Lose attack power on Padrini. Oh my god. Attack power? No, Maria loses speech power. That one's actually quite bad. A huge cliff stands before you. Such a geological rarity holds some exceptional treasures. We examine it. Uh, Padrino is able to look for more specific treasures by climbing the dangerous cliff. Cliff. Uh, do we want a quartz, a fossil, or crystals? Uh, shit. I'm pretty certain we want fossil. Yeah, so the Sunstone, I believe, is Collect. The Druid Quartz, I believe, is Status. And the Ammonite Fossil, I believe, is Study. Okay, there's the Ammonite Fossil. And it does have Earth Tre- It's an Earth Treasure, so it gives us Gold Ore Research. Unfortunately, it gave us these. Bugger. Is that our first treasure as well? Oh, God. This is not off to a good start. All right, we're going to get, like, Tommy here. It's going to be really annoying. No, Cassandra. Okay, beautiful. All right, Cassandra. Uh, is that a good spawn location for me? Kind of. Look at this. Got him. Uh, we'll actually be able to probably take Cassandra out in two turns. It's going to be quite nice. Yep. She is definitely gone now. Rip. <sighs> so that was super easy to do. It's just we need some amazing benefit from whatever we get here to actually justify 
what we've done. Unique treasure, we get the Sea Sapphire, which is definitely the study one. And plus 6 to 10 research from Discovery. The thing is, we want to stack bonuses on Discovery, because we're hoping to get Discovery every single time we can get it. I'm pretty certain we didn't get a student, and we didn't get a special treasure. Honestly, that didn't work out amazingly. We also didn't even activate the campfire story that we're trying to do, the botanist campfire story. But you know what? You can't always get what you want. I heard from Keith Richards once. But if you try sometimes, surprisingly, he told me, you might just find that you get what you need. So one crew member can learn one naturalist, engineer, or archaeologist perk. We are going to need an engineering perk. And we'll take steam machines because we can learn the rest in different ways. We want a student. We want research explorers. Now, this is interesting. I don't know if this stacks, but if it does, it's going to be super cool. Naturalist, engineer, and archaeologist gain plus one study when they spin on the adventure wheel. You are a naturalist, engineer, and archaeologist. So if that stacks, we are going to be spinning for hilarity's sake. Okay, Amelia trains everyone. We'll learn more from nature. So now we get two nature... Uh, sorry, two uh, study tokens every single time we enter a survival naturalist challenge. Sorry, a nature challenge, rather. Uh, that's from scientist senses and from our captain's perk. But then, as soon as we go over and get nature science, starting this project unlocks two study every time you enter a nature challenge. So you can see what we're going for here, right? We'll save the rest of our research so that we can go down the anthropology and nature science tracks as soon as possible. A level three naturalist... Spending insight to perform a study action will gain plus two study. And from this, we'll get plus two study when spending insight in Berlin. So that is plus four study when spending insight in Berlin. And we'll be doing it with Amelia, who has a base of three. So seven study tokens when spending insight in Berlin. It's going to be quite good. Okay. Uh, extra collect if you're resolve friendly. Honestly, I don't want that. I actually straight up don't give a single fuck. Okay, don't want any of those. We'll get our next student. And do I want to get a lobbyist or just hold off? Honestly, I probably just want to hold off. But getting a lobbyist this early is probably going to pay my way to get another student later. Will it though? You know what? Unless you stack lobbyists, it's not going to make that much of a difference. I'm going to hold off at that point. Uh, we'll go to the item shops, and you are already way too good at what you do. Second area that we are going to is going to be Mali. We need a rogue, athlete, and beguiler. So we'll get a little bit of athleticism in our team by upgrading and giving a machete to you. And then we'll also get diplomat on Maria. Now, this is also bonus... Uh, bonus importance because the translation guide gives diplomat languages but also an exciting booster all exciting abilities gain plus 10 percent speech power and as you might know she has an excite ability so it's gonna be quite good for her and we had exactly enough money to do that actually we're in quite a good position based on that stuff all right what are we 13 minutes in all right let's go to molly so this is not going to help us get study but it will help us in a friendly build. Especially if we manage to resolve this final area in the way that we'd like to. Okay. That's a, got a zero link. I do like zero links. Uh, Amelia studies the property of some rare metals and we get some science. I do like me some science. Okay. Gold awaits whoever goes down at the cost of weakened physique. Which I imagine might be lower armor. You can't even have lower armor. Sure, Maria, go down. Negative 15 armor. No one's going to actually be rolling attack hits against me, so that should be fine. The thing is, going to there, what it, like if it gives me two supplies, it's not still not worth my time. I go there, I get a s second supply, and then I come back and I'm still on 10. So I may as well just ignore it and go to one of these. A small tribal settlement. Uh, they invite us to participate in a ritual for strength and courage. The year's challenge is walking on burning coals. Alright, we'll have Padrino do it. If I fail, I keep my tools, so it's okay. Hey, nice work, Padrino. 
Okay, that- I- I was assuming I was gonna get something more from that. Oh well. I do want to try and unveil the whole map so that I don't miss anything important. Mine that gold, or don't waste time mining the unknown. Sure. We got a small diamond. I was kind of expecting for more, but you know what? Fair enough. A gemstone mine? Sure, lead the mining. 51%. Yep. Hey, we got him. We found some nice gemstone. His stamina was enough to take us through it. Got a zero link down here. That's going to be quite good. Faint laughter are coming from the distance. You have a fear of hyenas, but the curiosity gets the better of you. As you approach, you see a small village with people camped around a campfire. You listen for a while and you notice they're telling jokes. Maria will tell a good joke as part of being a beguiler. We get the best joke of the year award. Finally, a convoy of miners is passing you. A representative of the company wants to have a word with you. Listen to the man. I don't know. Sorry, I don't. Don't I know you guys from the Explorer's newspaper somewhere in the back section? You have quite the reputation. Would you like to put in a good word for our company? Sure, we get four collect and negative one campaign. Or no, make a physical statement. We'll say no and make a physical statement. We'll punch him right in the nose. Hey, that's what we're looking for. Oh shit, we don't have a quick thinker. That's going to be difficult to succeed at, but I really want to try. Shit, if we had a quick thinker, we'd be way more prepared for that. Um, I think I go for the study right now. Maybe it's the encounter, actually. Yeah, it's probably in the encounter, because the study token is going to get buffed over time, whereas the encounter token won't. Okay, so this is the crystal mine. The crystal cave, rather. What an opportunity! Let's go forwards! If only we had specialized mining tools. Oh, fuck. <laughs> we don't have the specialized mining tools we need. Whoops. A lonely lady is trying to move furniture around in her small hut. If we actually succeed the 41% chance on this, we might get the Chihuahua at the end of the mission. Hey, nice. She teaches us a secret massage technique for curing the grumpiest of souls. Here's the audit committee that we have to persuade so that we can talk to the witch doctor. Now that we've actually resolved both of those, we should be in a really good position for resolving this quite early. Okay, I'll roll party time there. Just dunk on two of them really quickly. You should actually be able to remove the powerful guy. Excellent! The problem is, this would have been better if we had a status crew. And we're missing out on a lot of different things at the moment. Ugh, it's just... It's not going as amazingly as it could. I'll say that much, at least. Crew splits up. Investigate the mud pyramid anyway. Yes, please. Use these secrets to leverage fame in Africa. What? That's all we got? Alright, fine. An ancient ruin Amelia is sure to find something great inside. Okay, so they are going to go devious, and we're going to go friendly, which means that we should be better than them, right? And then, apparently, we need to go devious at the end. Okay. We can do that. We can definitely do that. So, if I stand here, I should be able to party time over there. <laughs> oh, man. Absolutely shrekking them. Fumble, and fumble. Honestly, it could not have gone better if I'd asked for it. Okay, sadden, and then you'll roll this one as well. Turn back to Devious. Having a full turn of rolling Devious is going to make it way easier for us to actually ultimately resolve Devious, which is going to get us the largest amount of bonuses. A dangerous and impressive feat. Uh, defeating hyenas in their own game, nothing short of impressive. Don't mess with humans. And is this the elephant skull? No, we find the beaded crown. We'll go for the one that gives us campaign. Alright, Padrino will get extra collect when solving a battle friendly. Not actually particularly going to help us, but sure. A new chapter. Are you looking for gold or even the amazing crystal fountain? We'll use local customs to ease the divide between us. 
Okay, we're actually going to get the specialized mining tools, which means we can go back to the uh, area over here. Crank the charm up to 11. Since you're so charming, I'll tell you a secret. I know the location of most mines, including where the Crystal Mountain is. So that's another mine, but the Crystal Mountain is over down here. And the Crystal Mountain does lead to another spot that I want to be at. Beautiful. So I'm going to take some hunger penalties here, but we can now go to the Crystal Cave. Okay. Now, we're going to want Padrino to go in there because he has the highest grit. Cave's collapsing. Yay. Now, I need to collect literally everything, even if I lose the resolve on this. Jump. Let's not do that. Yeah, jump. He's got the Athlete and Survivalist, so he can actually do that one relatively well. And he gains Quick Thinker Reflexes. Risk it. Find out what the Bright Twinkling is. 72%. Please get this. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, we find a magnificent diamond, the Star of Africa. Five gold from encounter, gain one study for each two collect you've got on this expedition so far. So that's 22, we'd get 11 study. Yeah. And then we've got a 51% chance to actually leave. We will lose two resolve if we fail this, so yeah. That's a significant problem for us. Oh shit, we lost supplies as well. Okay. Entrance to the cave, we'll use the specialized mining tools. And it's fine if we actually fail the roll here, because it only costs us supplies, which we don't have. Beautiful. Look at all the discovery we're getting. This is really good. This can set us up for a really good run, just as long as we survive. Extra campaign when she succeeds on the adventure wheel, or an extra study token in Berlin. Yep, we're definitely going for that. Remainder of an old battle. Let's search. 83%. I should check whenever she's about to roll on that wheel. I should check what results she's getting because I've wanted to know for quite some time, evidently. I'm losing attack power constantly, which is just hilarious and good for us. Uh, we'll get that discovery. Thank you. Well... We actually surprisingly got a lot of the bonuses we could have gotten here. And what? We've lost some speech on you. Some speech on... Oh, okay. We have actually lost some very important things that we didn't want to lose. Onwards. Unique village. Let's charmingly persuade him to listen to us. He talks to his audit committee who put in a good word for us. And we can massage him. Now we can get the golden chihuahua. If we face him and take him down. Now, the Chihuahua is really important because it does have, or before Morning Explore came out, it had a bonus where if you resolved friendly, it would give you bonuses. So I need to make sure none of my party drops to the ground. This is going to be difficult. Beautiful. So I'm basically trying to make sure that everyone has a better target to attack than Maria. <laughs> Evidently, I'm doing really well at that. Okay. Well, Maria actually can't even get in line to attack. So she may as well stay down here and attack there. Whereas I can have you move up. Give a positive mood over there. See, I don't want to buff him. Can I? But I can't get close enough to hit anyone else. He takes off his mask in respect for us. Beautiful. His speech and speech defense are lowered as a result of taking off his mask. I'm going to have to be really protective of myself right now. Yep, that can be bad. Nope, we're okay. Whew, we're okay. The self-heal is going to be really important right now. You're already happy. Wow, we actually can't take that one down.
Okay. We're going to have to do Tranquility. You move up here and take this guy out. And Amelia actually is going to have to sadden. I guess this guy up here. Wow. We are in a really bad position. Can I get Amelia to like a better strategic location? Yeah, I guess I start moving her around here. It's entirely possible they just nuke down Amelia. I'm um, dead. Rip run. Ah, so we did risk everything by going for the, uh, the Star of Africa there. And the fact that we lost that much resolve on the rolls, it was kind of be to be expected. You want a rogue, quick thinker, survivalist athlete for that. Like, it's, it's really difficult to do all of that without having any problems. That said... Honestly, we were set up for a really good run. So I think next time I'm going to do the same thing. Same crew, same plan. Ooh, nice. An actual new story. Kiwi is always busy exploring her own. Her rash and free spirit becomes a point of conflict. She gets two quick... Sorry, two collect and study whenever she succeeds on survivalist, quick thinker, or rogue spins. So I'm going to actually do the same crew next episode. So this episode, just consider it a, a warm-up run, a little bit of a tester, a little bit of a teaser, a little bit of a trailer for what's going to be coming up next episode in Renowned Explorers. My name is Ben Rhapsody. The name of the games has been Renowned Explorers. There's a playlist in the description down below with all of my content on the games, past, present, and future, and hopefully we'll see you next time.